Hey guys, and welcome back to Man of Medan. For like the fifth time. I was not able to stream the game like I had planned. Uh, for some reason, Streamlabs just kept dropping frames like they were made of lead, so I tried to stream for a little bit, got irritated with how crappy it looked, and quit. So... What I ended up doing was replaying the game from the beginning to get back to where I left off with my last recording, so that way I can just keep playing from there. The only notable changes is that I had Fliss and Conrad flirting a little bit more, and instead of taking the bang stick on the dive, we just used Alex's knife to get the door open and ended up breaking the knife. So. As of right now, those are the only two changes that I made on the way. Uh, I'm trying to play it with the mouse and keyboard, so it's a little bit more responsive when I remember what direction I need to tap my fingers whenever it comes to the QTE. But my controller is very cheap. It's just one of the little rock candy controllers that you can get for like 10, 20 bucks. And it's not, it's just a USB one and it does not register very well with games that require quick time events. So it's like, I've been having issues using it while playing Heavy Rain as well. So anyways, it is currently 6.35 in the morning. I can't sleep. I am buzzing like crazy. So I am going to give this a try and just see if I can get about half hour recorded and then get back to where I left off so that I can get this edited and put up. So let's continue from where I left off today. Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. This is pretty close what? to where I left off. How it's much not money bad. they have? Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. Julia, it's okay. It's okay. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. Yeah, well, I know what happens if you mess up, so... These fuckers need to pay. We gotta take them down. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. The first time I played through Good this call. particular section, I climb out the window, uh, climb around the side, and hit them from there. Conrad got shot the in the head. So Don't I'm gonna try to okay? avoid that this time. Right, let's do it. I would much rather keep everybody alive for as long as possible. Oh, I didn't do it. What the hell are you thinking? What the hell, guys? No! I clicked! Jesus. Conrad, go to the other side. We'll hit them together. I, I clicked. I did it. That's ridiculous. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Oh, crap. No, we're not gonna escape because it's not gonna be any good. Bam! Right in the face. Please do not get dead. You're pretty stupid. Damn it. 
I I swore I clicked. I actually managed to get onto the boat last time. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. I actually managed to get on speedboat last time, so I'm kind of mad at myself now. Oh well. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Olsen! Come here! These guys are just idiots, but you know, the greedy idiots. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? I get it. All right. Shut the fuck up. There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just going to say it. Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys Shut up, they Alex. travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her. I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. Barely laid a They're hand on you. Shut up. Out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This is a trap, and you set us yeah, up. Yeah, asshole. Put a cork in it. Damn, I wasn't paying attention. Sit still, all of you. You. Come with me. Alex hey, has me pissed off. Leave her alone. I'm no better at this with the keyboard. It's terrible. <laughs> Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Yeah, we're just gonna be compliant. Hey, uh, just requesting we any information about this storm you can right give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance, not used to a little weather freaking you out. Now we're good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Not talk through half of this game. <laughs> Everything's better when we help each other out. You get that? Don't you? Yeah, cool, dude. My problem is, is I'm not really paying attention because I get so caught up in the game. Okay, it yeah, looks like a movie, and 
you don't really expect to actually have to do anything during a movie. This, this bothers me. They're just sitting there shouting at each other about this missing person in their group. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Be quiet. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Shut up. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Shut up. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Holy, you just shut the hell up. this I was wondering how it is everyone's still alive their little bitty boat didn't get totaled Things could have been quite different <sighs> I like the curator parts though this omniscient being that's kind-hearted creature I am do. I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come tempted yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> okay, then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. This is an interesting character. It's an interesting guy. I want to know more about him and less about the idiots on the boat. <laughs> la porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! Part of me thinks there's something up with Junior. He just seems a bit soft compared to the other two guys. Okay, I'm controlling Conrad here. 
Okay, that's cool. Cet endroit. I forgot. <laughs> Steering in this game is a little strange because half the time you just push one button and don't change much. Let me see the thing. Dick. This whole place is a floating death trap. It's very Resident Evil with these fixed camera angles too. But for the most part it really does just feel like a movie. Because there's so much of it that's literally just cutscenes. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard. To... Sometimes it's hard to tell when you actually have control of the characters again because the in-game models and the cutscene models are sign up for a trip pretty out. much identical. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck. Like that right there, I wouldn't it just looks like it's straight out of a cutscene, but you're still controlling it. It's really weird. I mean, I like it. It's cool looking, but I wish there was a bit more freedom to wander around, I guess. Because you really have no freedom whatsoever. What the hell do these dickheads want with us? You pretty much have to go oh, shit. where it tells you to go. Stinking rat. whole place sounds like it's groaning. That's cool to me. Just really good sound design. Osan, you in both to see. Okay, all of you into the room. Fucking place. Good question. Given our observations that this is some sort of ship and seems to be abandoned, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship. You think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. Second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, yeah man, this whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape, didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. What happened to him? No idea. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So can't we just like... Hotwired or something? You cannot hotwire distributor cap. Okay, these assholes knew exactly what they were doing. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we 
gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that, um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys, or whatever. You were but a I, dickhead. I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so... Yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. You were, you were kinda being a dickhead, but you know, whatever. What happened here? So it's probably right around the tail end of World War II. So, when we told you this would be a quick little adventure, was there something real, real creepy? Beady, beady little glasses, but these, not creepy, uh, Conrad. Extras? Yeah. Kidnapping, 750 a year. Extra time, 350 an hour. Listening to your stupid bickering? I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> At least you're not charging us for the damage to your boat. I am now. What do you think this ship was? Great. Of all the places I'm gonna die on. No one holds paper like that when they're reading it. That's just weird looking. I wonder why this was ripped off. hard to tell from that, but it's a picture of a dog. I don't want to talk to you guys just yet. And I think, yeah, that's just the newspaper. I already got that. So let me move, please. I'm going to explore the salle of the machine. Danny, you're full of the suit. The suit? Are you serious? Did you see the place? It's going to fall in ruins, Olson. And I don't have the tools to get it. Do what I tell you. Et c'est tout. Va te faire foutre. Quoi Qu'est-ce que t'as dit Rien. Trop du cul. Arrêtez, arrêtez ça. Ta gueule, Junior. Tu restes ici et tu surveilles les prisonniers. Prisonniers On est en prison Charmant. On sera bientôt oh. riche si vous la perdez. Okay. So yeah. Si vous faites ce que It really looks like Junior is not 100% in this, so we could probably use that to our advantage. I don't know how just yet, but he, he does seem like he's the most reluctant part of this particular group. What's going on? Just enjoying the perks of our all-inclusive cruise. I found a letter, by the way. Some guy was writing to his little lady back home about all the ghosts and crap on the ship. Ghosts? Uh, yeah, I mean... There aren't really ghosts here, right? Let's hope we don't run across any ghosts. We got our hands full already. Okay. We got one guy complaining about another guy pretending to be sick so he could get out of guarding one of the holds. And I guess he was kind of a repeat offender. It sounds like nobody liked it very much down there. So, uh, I guess the moral of the story is stay the fuck away from the haunted cargo holds. Sound Haunted. advice? Maybe they just didn't like working there. Yeah, or maybe there are super ghosts. That's... what? <laughs> ghosts, but like 16-bit. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Super ghosts. Conrad's a right. nerd. I like it. We just it. need to stay calm and focus on getting out of here. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Look, those meatballs are probably just looking for some get-rich-quick Manchurian gold. Which may not even exist. I mean, what if they don't find anything? Then we're fucked. So, what do we do? Uh... The way I see it, we got two options. We sneak out or we stay here and fight. Simple as that. 
sneaking out is a better option, but I just don't know how we're gonna do it. Okay, well, we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. All right, yeah, catch you later. <laughs> but Conrad's kind of a dweeb, I like him. I'm just hoping I don't accidentally get him killed. Hmm. How could you be any more noisy? Hey, look what I found over here. So, we've got to figure out how to do this without him coming in immediately. I am so used to steering with the mouse. This is just driving me crazy. Um, I can't, I can't, I can't do anything. I want to, uh, oh my god, let me talk. Come take a look. Finally? Um, I'm trying. Jeez. Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Oh, 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 we don't know where a vent like this would go. I think we just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait! Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. Barricade. <laughs> ah, come on, no. Hey, hey. You know, if the door doesn't. I'm the reason she got snagged. No way. No heroics. We gotta get as far away from here as we can. Okay, so the first time I went through that, right. I chose hide, and Fliss ended up getting knocked down, and basically it looked like I abandoned her. And then this time, I chose to stay behind and push, and she still ended up getting left behind. So I'm not very happy with that, as I wanted her, I wanted basically all four of us to get out. Oh boy, all right. I'm just gonna take my time through here real quick, and because there are, uh, I know there were a few like little side rooms and stuff I didn't go through the first time, but I'm going to be ending this before we get to the next major section because I don't want to get too far, too much further into it while I'm trying to keep these like half an hour each. 
but I like to be thorough, so. And then there's the mystery of the smelling socks of punching briefs. Yeesh, need a decade's worth of just nastiness. Oh, oh okay, it's just won't let me go any further. I thought there was something there. <laughs> Can I not go any further? Guess not. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna stop it here because I'm just at 32 minutes, but I'm still not happy about that last bit. It's slightly better than the first time I did it because like I said, it looked like I left Fliss behind. This time it was just me screwing up as I hit S a little too fast and I didn't keep in time which is what you're supposed to do but yes I mean uh, <laughs> Conrad's just stupid I don't know the relationship is still kind of okay but yeah uh, it could be worse, I suppose, but hopefully I still have a chance to save her because I want to try and keep as many of them as alive as possible. So just tune in next time. And from this point on, it's actually going to be me flying blind. I have not played past this part yet. Like I said, I started the entire game over just so I could get back to this section so that I could record it since my recording software didn't actually record the first time through. So yeah. Uh, if you're enjoying this, just let me know down in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.